Hi, it's PGA Professional Paul Hobart and I have a quick tip today on a great way to practice to ensure that when you take a divot at the bottom of your swing that you're doing it in the right spot and also that you're making a golf swing that's going to enable that to happen and enable you to hit consistently good shots. Now many people have the mindset that taking a divot is a bad thing. The only time taking a divot is a bad thing if it's taken before we get to the golf ball. So a quick drill, and it's very simple to do this, a lot of times I'll use two golf tees. Today I'm going to use two golf balls just because it's a little bit easier to see on the camera here. I'm going to take my two golf balls and I'm going to set them down on the ground maybe a foot or two feet apart and I'm going to put them in a line just like that and then I'm going to set up as if I had a golf ball in between these two golf balls that I was going to hit. And again, you could do the same thing with two golf tees. And I'm going to set up and your job would be with doing this drill is to make swings and impact the ground in front of the golf balls or in front of the tees. All right, if we're hitting fat shots or if we're hitting thin shots, in many cases we're going to be making a swing where we're falling backwards a little bit or we're staying back on our back foot and that's causing the bottom of the swing to happen before we get to the golf ball. If you can do this drill, use two golf balls or use two tees, whatever the case may be, and make swings where you consistently brush the grass in front of those two tees or those two golf balls, your body at that point will have learned to move correctly to get that to happen in a golf swing. It's a little bit uh, backwards to the way some people think in terms of getting the ball up in the air. Usually if we're trying to help it or lift it, we fall back, we lean backwards a little bit, and that causes the bottom of the swing to happen back here behind the golf balls or behind the tees. So if you can learn the proper swing and the proper body motion to make that divot show up in front of the tees or the golf balls, you will have learned a swing that's going to hit good golf shots. And it's pretty simple. You can look down, see where the club's hitting the ground. If it's in front of the balls, you did good. If it's behind the golf balls, you're hanging back a little bit. You need to move into your front foot as you swing through. Practice this next time at the driving range. I guarantee you you're going to start to strike your shots more solidly. See you next time.